what should be used for a beginner for during workout okay so during workout meal is not there delete <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to CSK Vlogs and hope you guys are doing good. The same old intro. I'm planning, planning, planning and I'm not finding any new intro. So today's topic is all gonna be about what and all a beginner should do in the gym and which supplement a beginner has to be used, which supplement should not be used and what should be his pre-workout meal and a post-workout meal or a supplement. So let's start discussing about all this because usual basic questions for a beginner is when do a beginner has to start his workout either in the morning or else in the evening or in the afternoon i usually do my workout in the evening times before i used to do it in the morning but uh, i could not see so much of changes in the morning times because i used to do empty stomach workout so i didn't have much good muscle so now i'm doing in the evening times so after eating the entire meal of the day so evening my workout after workout i'm gonna be adding one more meal what is that meal i'll show you up in the upcoming vlogs question is when workout has to be done okay so workout has to be done according to your flexibility but i recommend to do in evening times because you will be having a lot of meal after meal you will be having protein in your body so that you will be having a very good results if you are doing a workout in the evening times and yes you can lift heavy because you will be having a lot of energy and uh, even protein if you are using some supplements or if you are having food natural food like eggs chicken and uh, curd so this gives a very good quality of bulk when you are doing workout in the evening time and one more thing is that yes you can lift heavy so that muscle growth will be like really very fast if you are doing a meal and if you are doing the workout because in empty stomach you won't be having muscle gain you will be having muscle loss because you won't be having any kind of meal in the early morning so almost like entire night you will be having like six to seven hours of sleep after that if you are going morning to the gym and if you are starting your workout uh, with any of the part training or if your cardio session yes definitely you won't be having any kind of as expected results as you are going to be working out in the evening times yes if you are if you want to lose the weight or if you are doing a cutout workout then yes morning sessions are really very good that you can do a empty stomach cardio and then move on with your workout but still most of the bodybuilders whoever are in competitions or into physic they try to do the workout in the evening times itself when they have competition they try to keep double workout double workout in the sense morning cardio and abs evening part workout like arms shoulders or chest whatever the day keeps up with according to their scheduled so they they are going to be doing the part training so next question is uh, what and all supplements should be used for a beginner i personally recommend to use whey whichever brand whichever brand you find it you can buy it i recommend to buy nitrotech nitrotech has a very good results or if you if your budget is like like very less somewhere around 35 or 32 then i recommend to go with ultimate nutrition or labrada labrada you're going to be finding it somewhere around uh, 3000 or 3400 rupees in amazon nowadays so yes it is genuine um, so go with labrada labrada is also a very good uh, supplement where you have good results and ultimate nutrition excellent results because i am using ultimate nutrition from quite long period of time uh, some people recommend that ultimate nutrition is not good that this no for a way ultimate nutrition is really very good and some particular supplements like nitrotech way gold or nitrotech uh and uh, labrada way labrada way more than labrada way i personally recommend to use combat the supplements are really very good but uh, if you are looking out for a budget friendly and for like more servings in a day if you are using like two servings then yes i personally recommend to go with ultimate nutrition because ultimate nutrition has 80 servings i'm not selling a brand here i'm just telling you people that which supplement is good in market and budget friendly so for a beginner i personally recommend to use whey supplement so whichever it would be okay so go with whey and after a month or after a two month start using bcaa because muscle recovery will be more fast and third thing is that uh go with whey and multivitamin multivitamin why i am recommending you because after workout 
there will be like a lot of body pain multivitamins try to keeps your body fit and you will be having you won't be having so much of pain as you finish your workout and get back to house in case if you are not using multivitamin yes you will be having definitely body ache and one more thing is that when you are stretching your body you will be having that cut cut sound in your bones the friction sound won't be there if you are using multivitamins so the third question is for weight loss which supplements has to be used for weight loss which supplement has to be used yes it's an important question because most of the people they use fat burners l carnitine and many supplements are there in the market but i personally recommend you people in empty stomach cardio and in empty stomach try to have uh, 10 ml to 15 ml of uh, apple vinegar serum with uh, some hot water some hot water in the sense according to your taste because apple vinegar won't be so good so if you are mixing it in a hot water then try to mix it according to your taste or a quantity how much ever the water you can drink in the empty stomach and coming to the fat burners fat burners is not wrong fat burners can be used but everyone can't use fat burners because when people are using fat burners they are getting stomach ache some people are getting headache most of the people they are getting headache itself more than stomach ache and you will be having some kind of irritation like getting up in the early morning and in the empty stomach if you are using fat burners automatically you start feeling that giddy feeling somewhere if you are working out you don't feel like working out sometimes you won't be motivated as motivated as when you are not using fat burners and one more point is that for everyone fat burners are not suitable i'm trying to giving a basic info that what has to be used in the weight loss okay but i'm not giving a complete explanation that what has to be used and how you have to be when you are in the weight loss no i don't want to elaborate the vlog i'm just giving a basic knowledge to the beginners so i'll create a separate separate vlog for weight loss muscle gain and uh, how supplements has to be used for a beginners how many scoop that and all i'm going to be elaborating in this vlog itself but not this weight loss and weight gain i don't want to make the vlog lengthier and i don't want to make you people bore so next is muscle gain for a beginners once you enter some supplement shop and when you ask them for a supplement they will definitely recommend you to go for gainers most of the beginners are doing this mistake itself don't get into gainers because gainers give you a hell lot of fat in your body then again if you want to reduce that you have to go with cardio you have to work out a lot and you have to keep yourself in diet for a very long period of time to reduce that fat a gainers will be having somewhere around 500 to 600 calories more than that in fact and uh, somewhere 50 grams of protein per scoop and you will be having this much big scoop and i don't know how people use uh, gainers and yes lean mass gain if you're going for this then it's really good and uh, muscle tech mass tech is a product which gives you a very good result and which has a very minimum amount size of scoop somewhere around uh, 50 grams per serving i think so the scoop size will be and in case if you are not going for gainer then i recommend you to go for whey and use one glass of milk 250 to 300 ml of milk and add some 100 ml of uh, water in that so that the whey supplement whatever you are using it takes a quite long period of time to get digested something like casein supplement so which is going to be like entire night it will get isolated okay if you are doing a evening workout and if you are buying a casein supplement casein is really very expensive guys in india and if you are going for that in case okay so it takes like entire night to get digested okay for a digestion it will take like almost 5 uh, to 6 hours so most of the bodybuilders is going to be using casein in the night time it's elf not in the day time so i recommend for a beginners go for a whey supplement and morning go with water night time if you are doing workout and uh, after workout if you want to use supplement then yes i recommend you to go up with 300 ml of milk and 100 ml of water that's more than enough so entire night it will take a digestion process so even the bulk happens yes and one more thing is that if you are going up with a gainer stuff go before workout use one big banana and after workout 
वन स्कूब ऑफ वे सप्लीमेंट सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी स्कूब वे सप्लीमेंट शुड बी यूज वे और गेन वॉट एवर इट इज सो आई पर्सनली रिकमेंड टू यूज टू स्कूब सप्लीमेंट इन अ डे इफ आई एम यूजिंग वे सो वन इज एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्ली मॉर्निंग with oats i am going to be eating a uh, whey supplement i am going to be using whey supplement one scoop in the 90 grams oats and hot water and i'll put some rice in and i'll mix it and i'll be eat off with my meal itself in the end of the day i mean after workout i am going to be using whey if i'm on size i'm going to be using 300 ml of milk and if i'm on cut down i'm going to be taking supplement with water and before workout i'm not using any supplement i in case if i'm doing in the morning times workout i use pre workout i used to use not use i used to use pre workout but not in the night times i don't recommend pre workout in the night times so if you are going up with two scoops of whey supplements that's more than enough and one more thing is that at least you have to drink per day 3 to 4 liters of water which is recommended for each and every person not just for a beginner or or a person who is doing a gym from last 3 years or a 4 years so of course for them the entire digestive system will be in the next level not for a beginner so i recommend you people to use first one or two weeks try to use one scoop after that try to jump to two scoops not a day one itself that you are going to be doing up with two scoops of supplement no it's not like that use anything as a medicine in bodybuilding because bodybuilding is something which is very disciplined you need to have hell lot of discipline it's not that you enter a gym and you are going to be using three scoops of supplements and you are getting a body tomorrow itself it's not at all like that guys it's all like fake supplements is just a alternate stuff you can't eat hell out of food so instead of that use supplements alternately okay that gives you a protein so next is for a beginner pre workout should be used or not yes pre workout pre workout yes i recommend for a beginner not to be used and second thing is that pre workouts give you a very good stamina but if you are doing in the if you are doing workout in the evening times then definitely no because after using pre workout at least for 6 to 8 hours you won't be having sleep and you will be getting into one more irritation because when you don't have sleep automatically your work will be start lagging in and your mind won't be working so fast and third thing is that pre workout has some kinds of side effects so what is that side effects i'll let you know in the next vlog for present i personally recommend not to use pre workout for beginners and yes if you want to use pre workout meal then yes i'm going to be discussing about pre workout meal in the upcoming vlogs and instead of pre workout go up with the uh, black coffee for replacement black coffee is really very good and yes that also before workout 10 to 20 minutes before have it then go to gym but in the evening times again caffeine it's not so good you won't be having sleep so and one more thing is that caffeine gives you gastritis issue so after doing workout you don't you might not even feel like having some food what should be used for a beginner for during workout okay so during workout meal is not there delete <laughs> During workout, I personally recommend to use BCAA like who are working out from six months or a one year, but not for a beginners. A beginners, I recommend to go up with a plain water or try to use this uh, gluta glutamine. What is not no no not glutamine. Uh, gluta pure, yeah, gluta pure is good. And uh, there is one more uh, tablet which comes up with uh, uh, what is that which gets dissolved in the water. this fast and up nutrition even that gives a very good uh, energy for a beginners if you are going for and it has minimum amount of caffeine and uh, which gives your body bit energy so that you can push the weights okay uh, coming to the last point what i personally use as my stack i use uh, one pro star i just got it like today after 6 months again i am going up for a protein almost for 3 weeks after lockdown sorry after post lockdown i didn't use any of the supplements i was just working out and i was having a very good amount of meal whatever has to be eaten for every meal i used to add the extra meal itself so i have gone bit fat 
so from today onwards i'm gonna be using one one scoop of uh, whey supplement after workout so this cycle i'm gonna be doing it for next one or two weeks so after that after that so i'm gonna be taking two scoops of whey supplement one is gonna be on morning as i told you and one is after workout so that is post workout and one more supplement which i'm using is extend bcaa and this is blue raspberry ice this is my favorite flavor and this i'm using as a during workout supplement so why <laughs> this question you people might have so almost like uh, six to seven months i didn't do any workout in the lockdown days so after lockdown the post lockdown i kept myself very natural for i mean to say like i kept natural for three weeks i didn't use any of the supplements and i had just a very good diet and i was doing workout so i didn't have so much of stamina what i was having before lockdown days what the workout i used to do so for that reason i have started using this extend bcaa and i have to start from today not started i have to start from today this keeps my muscle recovery very fast and i'll get some energy what i'm lifting now one is to two i'll try to lift that is not just my mindset yes this really works extend really works because i have used lot of brands other bcaa i could not see so such a good results as this extend bcaa so i personally recommend to use extend bcaa so from today onwards i have to start however both the seals are there so i have to open both the supplement seal and i have to start using from today onwards today's vlog i decided to just speak about beginners and i wanted to show you people that what stack i'm using and yes one more thing i'm going to be using glutamine with whey in the evening workout i mean to say in the night time glutamine is one additional supplement one scoop i'm going to be using with whey after workout and yes glutamine is really very good some people recommended for me to use uh, creatine but no creatine i have to have like hell lot of water so i didn't like creatine and one more side effect in creatine was i had kidney stones so i just don't wanted to use creatine so glutamine is really good so i use glutamine and with bcaa i use a plain bcaa with almost like 500 ml half liter of water yes half liter of water that's more than enough that's it for today's vlog whatever i wanted to speak i spoke and upcoming vlogs i'm going to be speaking about completely about each and every topic for today's vlog it's done anyhow love you all bye take care keep supporting me and if you like my channel please do subscribe take care bye be safe